Okay, YouTubers, Instagrammers, uh, this is uh, Michael Horn here. This is that 71 GMC uh, I was telling you about we are going to start on. It's got a 671T for uh, turbo, inline Detroit in it. Uh, the floor is in rough shape, and, and I've been pricing material about getting bent to a patch it original and seen a video on there, and I'll have to look the guy, YouTuber's name up, and I'll put a link in on the video that he's done it on. Uh, he took a the old b model mac and redone the floor and it cut all the original floor out and deck plated it and that's what we're going to do with this taking the cab off and do it instead of trying to do it on the frame as you look on the passenger side floor you can see how bad it is around the doghouse and stuff and uh, it's in pretty rough shape driver's side over here has been patched but it's been patched very shoddy and it all needs to come out and that be done and part of the rocker panel on the driver's side uh, done but I'm gonna do that I've also found the air leak I have on here on the truck it's part of the foot valve over here for the brakes and I'm gonna replace it as the cabs off because it'll be the easiest way to get to it now back about the floorboards being bad needing to replace these floorboards and like I said earlier we were going to cut all this floor out originally or the original floor out and structure and deck plate it like in that other video i've mentioned in which i'll put a link in the in below for that like i said and i'll put the guy's name in here that done it but the bracing we'll do will be bet between the bottom of the cab here and the back of the cab back back here to hold this gap right for the door and we'll do that to both sides we will also um, put a brace in from here to the doghouse framing that uh, the doghouse sets on um all the way around we'll put a brace in here from the other side of the doghouse to the far side of the cab the back of the doghouse the back of the cab and we'll also add a, a brace from up here high down low here to the floorboard part where we are keeping to keep all this stuff straight so once the new floors in and everything's welded up the doors will still close right open and close right and they won't be an issue when we put the cab mounts back on it which will make new cab mounts and mount it they may be a possibility of making this either an extended cab in the process of putting this floor in or making it a crew cab. I don't know yet. I'm still looking about other, on other cab parts. But that's a possibility since I'm taking the cab off to do work. I may just shoot for an extended cab, which will might be kind of an interesting truck because none of these trucks ever come out with one. They never come out with a crew cab either. But that's later on. We'll see what comes on with finding of parts, annual spare doors and all that stuff which is another critter altogether. But like I say, we're gonna do that bracing before we cut this floor out so we have everything right for the doors. Alrighty, see ya. 